Hey everybody, my name is JC and I have a great testimony I would like to share with everybody today. I've been coming to this church since I was about 13 back in 2008. I love this family and this is the first time I've been able to share a real big testimony. It's unfortunate that this happened to me, but I praise God all the way through it and out of it. Uh, so I just wanted to let everybody know my good news of what happened to me. So this past year, uh, back in April, right around Easter, actually the weekend of Easter, I was diagnosed with cancer. Uh, it was stage three, uh, about the highest stage I could get with my, my type of cancer. And the only reason why it wasn't a little bit higher was because it hadn't gone into my brain yet. I have, I had a tumor, a mass in my retropreneal area, which is right here below my right kidney. And then I also had a mass in my, in my lung. Uh, this is, you know, this was hard news for me. I'm 27 years old this year. And, you know, me and my wife, we just got married last year. So, you know, this was tough on me and on her. But I will say God brought me through that. He, he healed me. He brought me all the way through. Uh, when I was diagnosed, I went to a lung doctor. They were going to try to see if they could do a biopsy on my lung to see kind of what kind of cancer it was. But we already kind of knew what kind of cancer it was with some preliminary tests and some other stuff that happened the previous year. Um, but that that lung doctor referred me to his friend in oncology. I had an oncologist appointment that was about two weeks away, but the lung doctor that I went to, he, he referred me to his friend and he saw me that day. Um, I, I think that was all part of God's plan um, that I got to see an oncologist a lot sooner than before. So I saw this oncologist. He got me started on chemo right away. I went through chemo. I had some side effects and I had a lot of nausea, but it wasn't it wasn't terrible. It was it wasn't too bad. And I thank God for for bringing me through that and bringing my wife through that. I know she had a tough time. She was up there every day with me at the hospital. But out of that, we got us we we wanted to get a second opinion from another hospital just in case, just to make sure we got it all. I had felt in my spirit that we needed another opinion, that we needed another another take on this. So me and my wife, we went up to Duke uh, about the last week of June. And they said, uh, what we see here worries us. Uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna put you through more chemo. Uh, and, you know, at this point I was feeling a little defeated because, you know, God gave me this. He gave me this second opinion. And now they, they tell me, you know, we're going to put you through more chemo. So I started praying. I started thanking God for my healing extra, extra hard. Um, and then the Sunday that I was supposed to go to get my chemotherapy, it was already set up. They had the hospital um, visit already set up. Pastor Steve gave a message and he said that he knew a woman and he told her, uh, he, didn't, he didn't know who he was talking to that morning, but he knew he was talking to somebody, but he had told a woman that she needed to confess that she was cancer free and that she was never gonna have cancer again. So. That night while I was out of town, I was, I was going to the hospital the next morning, I had confessed, I am cancer free, I am healed, I will never have cancer again. And the next morning while I was at the hospital, they were getting ready to admit me. I had all my stuff ready, you know, I was prepared. But they told me, they said, you don't have to have chemo. Your levels are looking great, uh, they're coming down. And we don't think that we're gonna. We don't think that you need to go through this this chemo. So I I praised God in that moment. I told him. I said I told that doctor. I said thank thank God, thank God for this. I praised him all the way through it. I went home that morning. No more tests. Um, they've got me on a couple follow ups, but I would I'm, I'm I'm praise God to say the the tumor that was in my lung is completely gone. No sign of it. And the tumor that's in my under underneath my kidney is shrinking at a great massive rate uh it's going it's going real quick so I, i'm i'm praising god that i'm not going to have to have surgery uh, and i thank god for everything that he's doing for me